Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's on Miner's mind today? Well, I think uh, Facebook's going to try to go all in on crypto. They apparently are trying to raise $1 billion to create their cryptocurrency Facebook coin to use on their WhatsApp application that they own. <clears throat> Facebook, really, you really need another billion dollars. So the rumor is, or the thought process is, that they are trying to create a stable coin. So it's possible that Facebook wants some money to use as collateral for the Facebook coin, basically making it a a stable coin like true usd or usd tether which tether is debatable because they don't have just dollars they have other assets backing up apparently that was brought out into the open <clears throat> so what does this mean for crypto i'll tell you what i think it means i think it means facebook's probably gonna be a blundering failure at it <clears throat> um, or it may do well I don't know it's, I think it's going to expose people to crypto in a unique way but I don't think it really exposes them to a decentralized cryptocurrency because it's going to be centrally controlled like most of your stable coins are with the exception of the DAI stable coin and in a way that's still kind of centralized because of the, the maker DAO people um, that own the maker coin kind of control and you know vote and make decisions on certain things that go with it but it's not controlled by a corporation it's you know the maker DAO that controls the the, um, the DAI it, they don't control the creation they don't create more or create less they try to control it by raising and lowering the interest rate um, as typical things do with money or typical situations or systems work um, but what I it just I'm, I'm trying to understand what they want to accomplish yes that will get them into cryptocurrency then you know will the exchanges accept you know the the f coin the face coin yeah we're gonna trade face coin facebook coin i, I just it's not gonna give people i think the the user introduction that they should get um it's gonna be used on whatsapp which i think is cool but i'm wondering <clears throat> i'm wondering if they're trying to mimic and i just thought of this right now there's an application in China, I believe, and it's it. You would think of it as a messaging app, but it has payments in it. You can do a lot of your paying different things in it. So they really don't even care what kind of phone they have. They literally need a browser or they need a, this app on their phone, um, and they can do a lot of different things with it. Um, Gosh, I wish I could remember the name, but it's massive. I mean, it is crazy, massively popular in China. <clears throat> so, I'm wondering if that's what Facebook's going to try to do, because they have merchants on there. They have businesses on there. They want to create this Facebook coin. It's of a stable value, and if they bring more businesses on and let people pay their bills or pay to buy things or whatever the case is maybe that's what they're going to do which will get people into a well i'll call it a digital currency i'm not going to really call it a cryptocurrency because it's not mined it's not created i who knows how they're going to create it are they going to create an actual blockchain or are they going to use you know, like Ethereum and create, you know, create it that way. Like many of the stable coins have done. They, they create their stable coin on Ethereum with a smart contract. So they basically created a token. If you want to look at it that way, maybe that's what Facebook will do. If they do that, well, now they have to consider 
gas fees. People need to be able to have Ethereum. So there's some different things that people are going to have to consider if they were to go that route. I I don't know. I don't know because when people, like I know for me, I, I love cryptocurrency. I love the technology. I love the what it's solving. I love what it's going to do for humanity. But there's a lot of things that, you know, people need to solve about it. You know, when you're using Ethereum, you have to pay gas to cover the transaction fee. Or when you're sending any cryptocurrency, there's a transaction fee. Now, I know there are cryptocurrencies that don't charge transaction fees. Nano is one of them. Um, I'm not sure, but maybe Cardano might be working on something like that. Uh, so, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, when, when you're sending money, you know, do you, does it, should you have to pay a fee to send money? I mean, right now, when we do money digitally, we pay a fee to Visa, MasterCard, and Swift, and whoever else has their fingers in it. So, is there a solution, or does Facebook provide a solution to this? Do they bring something to the table? They don't bring anything to the table other than making a token. I don't know how well it's going to be accepted. Um, it's not going to do anything any different than what we have now, so what's the purpose? It doesn't solve any real major problems. So, I don't know. What would you do with a billion dollars? I know what I would do with a billion dollars. I would hire a bunch of really smart people in a computer science field, area, whatever, and say, how can we do this? <laughs> or I'd look at something like Nano that is using a different kind of concept as far as a blockchain would be considered. You know? I don't know. Those are just things to think about. So be cautious. You know, as more information comes out about the Facebook coin, I'm sure we'll know more. We'll figure it all out. Uh, but right now, I'm very, very cautious and skeptical of thinking anything positive about it, other than exposure. And how do they expose people to it? I don't know. I mean, think about how early on we are. Like, the wallets themselves are not perfect by any means. They're not simple and easy. You know, the, the big thing to me is, you know, start... If you're, if you're a blockchain that's been around for four, five, six years now, you should really be focusing on user adoption, the user interface, on how do I make this simple and easy for anyone to use? How do I make this simple for a business to accept it? You know, maybe there's a bridge right now where when somebody uses crypto, it automatically gets converted to USD. There are things like that out there now. Uh, there, There's a process where I think... I can't remember the name of it, but they accept a couple of different cryptocurrencies and it's converted to USD. Smart Cash, I know in South America, uh, there's like, I don't know, the, for whatever payment process or company they partnered up with, they uh, let Smart Cash put in their little system that they developed to let people pay with Smart Cash. Automatically gets converted to whatever the Brazilian or South American, whatever, I'm pretty sure it's really big in Brazil. I know it's big in Brazil. Automatically gets converted to the Brazilian dollar. So that to me is massive. Something like what they're doing is they're bringing something to the table for cryptocurrency and focusing on adoption. That is what needs to happen if we want adoption to happen. You can't just continue to think people that are tech savvy are going to continue to use this and then the retail investors that well I'll figure out how to get it because I just want to be rich one day it's great for you but and that's one of the you know things that comes along with this technology as it will get adopted because of the deflationary um, output of everything most of these coins are created there's no you know, there's a, there's a limited supply by the end of it. There's a finite amount. 
only going to be 21 million Bitcoin ever created and how many million have been lost? <laughs> Maybe more like 17 million or whatever will be available when it's all said and done. It's kind of crazy. How many billions or trillions of dollars are going to be lost forever? So, I don't know. That was just what was on my mind. I was like, well, how is this going to work? This Facebook coin, how are they going to do it? How are they going to manage it? Is it going to be on a blockchain? Are they going to use some other thing not like a blockchain, but is a distributed ledger type technology? I mean, what are they going to do? <clears throat> I don't know. Time will tell, though. It'll all be figured out. What the fuck? Sorry, again, I'm swearing on TV, on YouTube. But people need to learn how to drive. Can't read signs. Anyway, here's your sign. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, hope your day is going well. You're watching this in the evening. I hope you sleep well tonight. Hope you have a good morning if you're watching this in the morning. It's April 9th. I think I said yesterday was April 9th. It was April 8th. So if you're watching what I covered yesterday, the sentiment video, I think that's what I did yesterday. Yes. Uh, that was April 8th. Today is April 9th, 2019. All right. Hope you're all doing well. Talk to you tomorrow. Peace.